and welcome to Grandad's Reviews. Uh, so now we've got all our bracketed shots from our focus bracketing setup. We'll uh, put them into the computer and uh, we'll blend them in Photoshop. Now there are some other software out there you can get off the internet, some free and some paid for that will do the same thing. Uh, and I'll put some links down below in the comments uh, on where you can get these from. Uh, but I'm using Photoshop. You can go from Lightroom to Photoshop um, or straight to Photoshop. I'll go straight into Photoshop. So let's get into the computer. Right, so uh, now we're on the computer and we've got Photoshop started and we want to blend those images. So what we need to go is to go to File, Scripts, Load Files into Stack. We click on there. And we've got Files or Folders. So we'll do a folder. We'll browse for our folder. And we'll do the 10 step 20 frame. So I'll click on that one. Go OK. And just wait for it a second to come up. And what you want to do is tick this box, Attempt to Automatically Align Source Images. It just reduces one step. Uh, you can align them when they're actually all in the Photoshop, but uh, you might as well let it do it right at the start. And we'll go OK. And it will now load all the images in as layers. Once it's loaded the layers, it will then attempt to align them if there's any that's slightly out of alignment. So that's if your tripod's moved or the camera's moved slightly, it's always going to be a little error. So now it's aligning selected layers based on their content. Now it's aligning the layers. And there we go. It's aligned all the layers and you can see there was a little bit of movement there. So with the last one selected, go up to the top, hold shift, select them all, like so, then go to edit, auto blend layers. We want to stack images, we want seamless tones and colours, and content aware fill transparent areas. Now there probably won't be any transparent areas, but it does give you a merged image, image at the end of it, which is uh, saves you having to do that step as well. So we'll press OK. We will now blend the selected layers based on their content. And depending on the speed of your computer, uh, this could take a few seconds or a few minutes. We've got a lot of layers, a few hours. And what Photoshop is doing is creating masks uh, for each individual layer. And there we go. So as you can see down here, it's created masks for each layer. And then created this completed one here. So with the 20 images with the uh, 10 step, you can see we didn't get a whole of the car. We can get rid of these. Let's do another one. File, script, load file, stack, folder, browse. So we did the 10 step 20. Let's do 10 step 100. Obviously this one will take a bit longer to do. Right, so we click this one again, attempt to align, click OK, and away it goes. So it's loading all the layers now, and now it's going to start to align them. So now it's uh, aligning the layers, and it's nearly done. There we go. So we've got one selected, all the way up to the top. Shift click on that one, go up to edit, auto blend layers. Seamless Tones, Contact and Wear, Stack Images, click OK. And off it will go. There we go. Let's see what it comes up with this time. And there we go. Let's merge that now. And the finished image. Let's just deselect that. And we've got the car in focus from the front to the back. But what you probably do notice, Photoshop isn't perfect. And where we've got this section here, uh, this bit, just here, 100%, as you can see, it's not quite done a very good job just here. Now it might just be this one image, uh, but I do have found on this one, it, it, it just it doesn't get this bit right. So what you'd have to go into 
is find find the bit that's doing it. Yeah, so you'd have to find a bit that's actually causing the problem and sort it out. But it's not too major. Alright, so get rid of these other layers. Let's do another one. So that was a 10 step 100 frames. Now let's let's do five steps 50 frames. And we'll set that off. Alright, so we'll select all those layers. Edit, auto blend. Okay. And away it goes. And right now it's trimming them down. We're now down to the merge layer. You see this time, perfect. Mm, 50 layers didn't quite get to the back there. Nearly, but not quite. So let's get rid of that. And we'll do one more. Five step 100. I'd like to see a line. And away it goes. And we'll select all those. Edit. Auto blend. Which I would expect. Press OK. And away it goes. Just trimming the image. And it's just finishing up. So we didn't quite get the whole car in focus with the 100 frames at 5 step but we do get a better blend around some of these problem areas that we had on the 10 step so it looks like the smaller step you do the better blending we get so if we'd have had 5 step we're probably 300 we might have got a bit further so after it's all blended, say so these are the images we get, and they're yeah, not too bad. A little bit of tweaking with the masks and that, you can probably get a better, better finish, and possibly other software may do a better job. I don't know, but uh, that's my look at uh, blending the uh, bracket focus bracket images in Photoshop. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. If you want to see any more like this, hit that subscribe button. If you want to be notified? Hit that bell button. Till next time, see you later.